Okay, so you probably heard of the news already. This is pretty old news about the Bethesda being acquired by Microsoft. But I just want to talk about it a little bit more. You see it, Microsoft completes Bethesda acquisition, confirms some Xbox and PC exclusives. So that sub um, title is very, very important. Talk about that much later on. We've known about this like a couple of months ago that they were in the talks and it's only been confirmed. It's only been um it's only become official recently. You know. I like asking questions to chat to you, YouTube frogs. What the fuck does this mean then? <laughs> First firstly, it means that Xbox is fighting back because we all know the PS4 versus the Xbox One fight. It's pretty fucking one-sided. So I prepared a little graphic just to show you why this was so one-sided. <laughs> I made this myself. Damn. Was that made by a professional? So we have the PS4 exclusives versus the Xbox One exclusives. You can see, yes, of course, the PS4, we have fucking Spider-Man. We have Ghost of Tsushima, we have Final Fantasy VII Remake, there were a lot more. Uh, PS4 had God of War, um, uh, Last of Us, which was the game of the year, and a lot more games. I mean, I would argue that I think any of the games I mentioned on its own are the compared to the whole graphic you see on the other side, the Xbox One exclusives. Well, Halo, although H Halo is like a pretty good contender, I think. We had Halo 5, um, I don't know, Hor Forza Horizon 4, I don't know how big of a deal that is for people. We had Gears 5, and these games I feel like don't really compare to uh, the games from PS4, excuse me, but that's my opinion. Although, my opinion feels like it's uh, in accordance to a lot of people's opinions because a lot more people, it's like I think 10 times more people or 100 times more people bought ps4 um over xbox one and it's like you know i tried to make up a, a stacked list as i can for xbox one exclusive but this i think are the ones that really just stood out but xbox now we all know that with series x and series s it's they're really fighting back so microsoft has acquired a lot different studios and different publishers so with the uh and recent addition they had was bethesda and if you don't know any of Bethesda's games, these are just featured games from their website. This is a very important acquisition for Microsoft because they have uh, lots of uh, big games, AAA games that people really care about. The Fallout series, the Doom series, uh, Elder Scrolls series as well. And with Xbox fighting back, I think as a PC gamer, I know this is something I just figured out, but I was when I heard of um, Bethesda being acquired by Microsoft and seeing uh, oh, Xbox and PC will have some exclusive from Bethesda, I it instantly clicked to me. Yeah, it clicked that Xbox exclusives means that PC exclusives as well. If there was a game to be released on Xbox, it would be released on PC. I think with exception exception of Halo, it didn't release for on the PC for a long time until we got it. Just last year was it last year or 2019? I want to remember obviously as pc gamers you want to have more games right so that means we'd rather root for xbox than playstation because if playstation won that means we don't get the exclusives yeah we don't get any of the marvel spider-man games so i i don't know i guess we're the i'm team xbox now i just want to be able to play games on my pc although this is a big butt it's a massive butt it's thick with three c's not two c's three c's some playstation exclusives have gone to the pc recently we had horizon zero dawn um the past year was released to the pc which was a ps4 exclusive so days gone is also a playstation exclusive and it is going to be added to PCs. So that's like a big deal that we're actually getting PlayStation exclusives coming to the PC. Although I, I still would say Team Xbox because we get more games as a PC gamer. These are like only few 
we don't know what else is gonna be going through the PC. But we only know like only a few are going to PC. They're prob they're obviously not gonna make every single PlayStation game be on the PC unless I don't know, fingers crossed. It's possible. So uh, yeah, that's all I want to talk about. Um, you know, there's only one takeaway and only one takeaway that you need to have from this whole talk so video is that go pc gaming because we're getting xbox exclusives from bethesda and we're also getting some playstation exclusives so we're like caught in between the war of two different consoles but i guess we're sort of winning because we're getting exclusives from both i would i would be happy to die if they finally release spider-man on pc after i play it i don't want to die before i play it i want to die after i play it Imagine though if they put Spider-Man on PC, I'm pretty pog. How about you, chat? What's something you would want to be added to the PC that is a PS4 or PlayStation, excuse me, not PS4.